Hello and welcome to part 6 of this Civilization 5 Let's Play. I finally decided on a title for it, so I'll be uploading the very first episode in the series today, whereas I'm doing part 6 right now. Oh my god, I've just forgotten the title though. From here to Timbuktu, or here to Timbuktu, that's all I called it. I thought, it was, ah, it's a saying, at least when I was a kid, um, of something really far away, so I thought I'd put that as the title, especially since uh, we should have Timbuktu. Yeah, Timbuktu is in this empire, but none of our cities are called Timbuktu. Well, whatever. <laughs> we'll just uh, we'll just ignore that fact. That that simple truth. I'll Donald Trump that one. Right, so where are we? Oh yeah, we are in a war with the Ottomans. They declared war on us. In fact, we would have declared war on them eventually. But um, they did declare war on us, and I don't think it is well-timed. Um, I have been a little loose with my naval units here. Uh, sorry, with my non-naval units, my embarked units. Assuming that the Ottomans didn't have anyone. I should have at least stationed a boat over here. It's not going to cost me, I don't think. Uh, these boats are, especially with our movement ability, let's... Uh, Who am I control? Come on. Come on. I clicked on him. I hate when things like that happen. It's going to cost me a little bit of a turn. Yeah, an entire turn. But we'll live with it. Um, yeah, I'm still sort of in the mindset of a late game game where these cities can shoot like three and four tiles. So they obviously cannot hit me here. They can two tiles at best. Most AIs have the have the walls built by now and can shoot the two tiles. Okay, so let's start planning a little into this war. You could get here. Maybe when we get the first siege weapon um, up here, I'll land... Uh, I'll aim to get him on the hill and the siege weapon here, the two horse units here. I'll replace this guy with another siege weapon when the when they arrive and yeah actually the archer can move onto this tile the second siege weapon can you move here and he is he's moving up the coast now so it shouldn't be too long at all and yeah he was the guy i got at a 10 population oh, i got it at 12. this guy is a little redundant no he can he can be the garrison in the city once um, once he moves forward here, and we have a great general ready to go. Well, I could nearly, <coughs> pardon me, my voice seems to be gone a bit. Um, I could nearly move forward now, but no, let's let's hang on until we get the, at least the siege weapon backing him up. And part of the, uh, let's land him and heal, and we'll get one of these horse units into the war. To land over here would that be better have i got the time for that i probably do two turns to get there one heal three turns probably um i might just no i might just not land someone well we see what the situation is it's a bit dangerous to land someone anyway things are to be looked to in a building okay water mills we definitely want them in the cities yeah uh, Terracotta Army. Now it's shaded out. Does that mean it's already been built? I think it does mean that. Right, Skirmisher. Uh, yeah, let's finish that. He could be useful. And an arena. What do I get out of that? Olives and... Yeah, it helps olives and perfume. Does it do anything else? A bit of culture, a bit of tourism. And um, Did I see olives somewhere anyway? No, I don't think I did. Uh, let's line some of this up as well. You know, I don't really need an emissary at the moment, so we will actually forestall his development. Oh, and I had a quick look between the cities at the start, and I noticed that this guy... Uh, yeah, let's uh, put that there. Uh, this guy has plenty of happiness, so he could maybe work on a library would seem to be okay to me oh 
Okay, maybe he could work on a life. Actually, where is this extra unit going? Into a bit of food. No harm to a bit of food. There's not. And, uh, what would this do to me? It would cause unhappiness. It would actually take away the bit of production on me. But it doesn't have to be the production, but... Yeah, I think I can afford to do two of them at the same time. Right, let's get... Maybe let's get moving. Hmm. Let's move him there just to see what the world looks like. I should have... Yeah, that's, that's not ideal. Uh, Alright, you can go there. I will probably clear out these units first. Um, yeah, we'll clear these units. It looks like they have a bit of an attack going. He's in my way to attack him before we land in. It should be fine here, though. This, that should all work, oh, work out. Okay. Grey walls being built. I must keep an eye on what the Ottomans are building. Hopefully they just build lots of wonders. I think they had one that interested me. Oh, more decisions. I'd like a bit of food in my capital. I think uh, I already lost out on the Oracle. What have we got here? Free missionaries. That would be nice. Um, what am I getting out of that one? Combat strength. Everyone just gets combat strength against cities? Okay, requires completion. And it improves the units I have already. Um, I probably want to build a few more knights as well. Angar Vat, I seem to remember this one. Pretty good culture and gold for acquiring new tiles. And so, uh, free Madeir in every city. That's that's nice. Um, yeah, I'm really at a loss of what... You know, I'm going to need courthouses going forward. Um, it would, yeah, heroic epic actually is probably should be prioritized around around about now. Um, where's the scout off to? Am I going to be greedy and move him up the coast? Was that a plan? Let's find out. <laughs> Even though I know whether I'm going to be greedy or not, and uh, let's, I think we might as well heal this guy. Oh no, he can't get out, so he's just going to get hit again. Still, we got a little bit of money and we hurt our enemies, which is always nice. Ooh. Okay, hopefully we catch him in the water, in the open water soon enough. I, I can see this wall going quite well, quite easily. Hanging gardens, that's the only wonder he has. Uh, it would have, would have been nice if he had two or three. But then again, it might be a good while before we take his city. Okay, a lot more resistance over here. Less resistance here than I thought, and a little more here. I'd love to get a boat over there to really challenge those guys. Still, we can do our plan of moving forward regardless. I'm sure. Let's go logistics. Such an awkward map to move. Uh, uh, to move my units up, but still, they're getting there. Let's just make sure we do get this bonus. We do. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. So I don't really, really need food in the capital because I'm going to be producing a hell of a lot. Um, so you were going to spread fate, going to spread fate there. Yeah, I could do a one more missionary then. For the time being, if I end up piecing out with these guys, and he hasn't started religion yet, it doesn't look like, I could go ahead and spread religion there. It's a big if I uh, end up piecing out, though, that. I think, yeah, we'll just stay going up the dreadnought path. And perhaps just defend the bay here. Okay, let's, like I said, let's stick with the plan. Get up on this hill. Hmm. The plan did entail, he's a lot of units there. 
I'd be fairly interested in getting my horse units into their back line. He's a bit surrounded then. So he could be attacked by one, two, three, four. Whereas at this tile, one, two, three. And he's on a defendable bit of land. Oh no, he probably can't use that as defense. But this is a free kill. Unfortunately, I can't move back after it. Okay, okay, let's think about this. Now let's hang in a second, and we'll have a uh, yeah. Let's see how much uh, how much of a battering they take. Because I don't think it'll be enough to kill them, even if he focuses on one of them. And if it's very little, uh, it will give us a good uh, indication that we can just push forward and like pillage our way and heal our way through everything. Can we attack in war? Nope. So they can't attack me either. That's fine. Okay, we do need a, a military cap, a uh, whatever it's called. Am I not? Did I build a wall there already? I guess. Yeah. Uh, I want to get on top of this and do it sooner rather than later. So those two are complete. Let's let's get a wall built here fast enough, just in case uh, this uh, supply cap adds up on me, like with a new technology and stuff like that, it could happen. Uh, we get a wall there, and actually, you know what? Let's uh, speed up some of these things. Water mill, for example. Okay, so let's keep an eye on their health. That's the big question here. Okay, the Ottomans are, are what last last to go. Does that matter too much? Um, that's a good bit of damage in fairness, and that was without I think an archer hitting because the archer must have moved all the way back. So uh, that's a bit of a concern. Okay, plus two gold, which is nice. More gold. I think those guys are just stuck there with him in the way. Yeah. Second catapult is going to be coming soon. I think I just pound away at the city. Yeah, I'll have this guy to come in to replace them soon enough. It might be, it might be worthwhile to get him to just land here. So I don't know. These cities can put out a good bit of damage actually. So it is. There is a bit of a danger here. Uh, what I would like is a swordsman up here to just soak up this damage. Alright, we got a supply cap somewhere. <coughs> Our uh, missionary can go. Yeah, can go here and then down the coast. It should be fine. Maybe I need to reconsider like landing units somewhere else, like maybe going all the way up the coast, taking my navy up, defending, and landing somewhere up here. Just give me free room to attack, because I don't feel these horse units can attack too well here, uh, giving, given the, the city in the way. But then maybe this is fine. Just siege units are going to take this city down. It's not going to take that long, I suppose. Especially when a second siege unit starts hitting. Uh, right, there's the peace deal. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not enamored, but I'd like maybe if he offered me a bit of gold and stuff like that. Okay, now you're talking me into it a bit. <laughs> like, there's a bit more damage than I wanted to see. If he has the legs to hit him. That's fine, but I don't think he does. Maybe if I move the archer out of the way, he would, but I'm really not sure about that either. No, he doesn't. Oh, have I just trapped him? 
No, I can get him all the way back. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's, I guess all this ranged attack there is pretty powerful. But, you know, I think I can defend these two spots uh, in the long term when I get a second siege unit in as well. And uh, we'll start to tear him apart a little bit. Have both of these guys moved? No. If they haven't, they have now. I I can't allow a boat just free passage in there. I would have loved to get my boat up here to clear this guy out. Um, but I think I have to sort of deal with him. I'll let him heal a turn. Go back. It seems I've lost whatever supply cap bonus I had. I guess I think I gain and lose some of this to war weariness. So that can be fairly fickle, I believe. And more bonus. Yeah, like 200 or so culture. That's like that's a sizable amount. It's so much that I'm thinking a peace deal would, wouldn't be too bad at all. Just for the opportunity to send my missionaries up there. But you know what? I'm not ready to build any more missionaries. So I might as well stay fighting and getting bonuses from a few kills here and there. What? Like, does he have more units? Like, I wouldn't have thought two boats would be enough to have done that. I guess it was, and now everyone's in danger. Okay. I did not respect people enough. And he cannot even hit anyone. Yeah. Uh, might as well go there so he can hit someone. Ah, that's annoying. At least that solved some of my supply cap problems. <laughs> uh, if I land this guy maybe in the city, he can... Oh, he actually doesn't have many choices where to go. So i better land there. No, he can't go into the city and still shoot. Wow, this is just taking a a bad turn. Um, you know, we're going to, to attack cities anyway, even though we're not going to be attacking them right now. Speaking of a bad turn, I've got him in a bit of trouble as well. Yeah, I can't stay there and be attacked. I'm just going to have to escape into the water. Yeah, let's see then. How about... How about doing that? I don't think he'll die. Maybe, maybe just a peace deal. Now that this has gone a bit uh, awry, I could, um, I could build. Yeah, I think I need more of a navy maybe to help take this. Although I don't know, the siege weapons there would have been fine. I guess I need a spearman. Do I have iron yet? Let's have a look what we're missing here. So I have iron, well, I, I can see iron, and the swordsman can be built soon enough. Uh, where is my iron? I'm not going to be able to reach that. It might be worth building a city just to get that. Yeah, I don't have access to any iron. Uh, oh, I do, okay, okay. Yeah, maybe a peace deal and get this tile worked. I wish I'd done it last turn and not lost that guy's life. Yeah. No, I don't... He might be in danger. Yeah, let's get a peace deal. I'm a, maybe he's in danger. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked him. Uh, can you... Attack? No, okay. Peace deal it is. Tail between my legs. I think you're very lucky to get away with that peace deal, Ottomans. Uh, it does allow the scout a chance to go up this coast. Uh, let's go have a look if that Bavarian camp is still a problem. No, it's not. Alright, let's get... Um, I line up a replacement to the boat, but I think there will be a building available before that. 
Ooh, great general. Let's have a look at this die. So one, two, three, and four, five, six. Although the sixth isn't quite ready yet. <coughs> uh, six. Is that all I needed? Seems doesn't seem like enough, does it? But earlier I had figured that was enough of those units. Come on, die. Why are you invisible? So I need seven. I do need seven. Maybe I've just missed one. Uh, let's be a little more careful. One, two, three. Let's say four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's with this one counted. I have enough. Right. Um, yeah, I think that's worth it for the for the bonus. We lose out on the great general, which uh, is not great if we're going to start another war. But, you know, it might be a while before we start the war, I suppose. Our, our economy's going so well. Let's get the great general down there. See what the hell happens. These Ottomans have, uh, have quite a lot of units. I don't think they can attack me too easily. But... Uh, Quite a lot of units to attack, especially with that those couple of hills there as a choke point. Um, geez, that's not much money at all. Let me ask around. Maybe, maybe nobody else seems to want it though. They must have their own chocolate, and but nobody wants to die either. Let's just give him an extra turn because I think with the war being so recent, I have a feeling that the money goes up next turn. Okay, somebody wants uh, religion, uh, Mogadishu. I think there's already a missionary right outside your door, which is nice. Okay, I don't see the need here. Ah. I think you already have my religion. Just you mustn't have much of it. Yeah. Yeah, didn't I spread it there already? Wait, what's going on here? Oh, okay, sorry, he can't spread it. I, for some reason, it wasn't looking like he could to me. Um, yeah, let's get everyone positioned as if a war is gonna, another war is gonna break out. It, we have about, we have a while before we have to get to that though there's really not that much land uh, boom over here i can use the fag in city's land i suppose and uh, we're think we're trying to go out to blitz yeah and he's he's the intention is to explore the world with that guy uh you know what? Maybe I get a... Yeah, let's get a... I forgot about that plan. Um, let's get... You'll see when I figure out the word. <laughs> when I read the word settler. is Which is, of course, what I was trying to say. Let's get a settler. Uh, we don't need the arena in any kind of uh, hurry. So, yeah, we're def we're going to steal that tile. Definitely. Oh... Swedes, they are warlike people. I hope I don't give them a target. Oh, that's going to stop them attacking Kiev if that's what they're what they're doing right now. You're competing for wonders. That's the only thing they have against us. Well, we're a strong military force, so hopefully they don't uh, think about attacking us too easily. I'll have to get some of these units up here to defend the new city. Actually, if I can get horse units up here, this will be a much better place to attack from. And we can just defend this straight. Yeah, there, there's a plan. Now, that's a plan. Uh, I'll get the boats, well, boats, to ferry them up the coast. Yeah, that's a very interesting plan. It's sort of a, a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Something force. Expeditionary force? Yeah, that's the word. World War II, uh, British Expeditionary Force, I think that's uh, where I'm getting that from, history. 
Right, Forge, definitely want that. Heroic Epic, definitely want that. So we'll finish the Settler. And we'll get the Forge to speed everything else up. Heroic Epic to help everyone. Is it a past and present? Past or future? Not present, so. <laughs> uh, past or future units built in that city gain. That. Yeah, we must have spread the religion there and not here. That's fine, even if we need an extra mission early to do it. It'll get done. Yeah, the Swedes could kill a few units uh, if they were to surprise attack me. No reason that they would. <laughs> There's never a reason, though, that the AI would attack me, but they still do it. And what am I using this extra unit for? You know, we have to keep a closer eye on these cities now that the happy. I'm so worried about the happiness. Uh, yeah, I think a. A library could be done. That's like a fairly crap. So let's put that as our limit, like three resources of three coming out of them, and we'll spread it to the new guy. Okay, looking good. Uh, manufacturing would help us. Circus Maximus, it's always nice, I suppose. Colossus is still ready to be built. You know what? Let's remind ourselves what Coco needs. I think it was a garden. Yeah, so a garden helps uh, Coco, if we are correct. Let's double check on that. What did he say? Theology? Garden. Uh, Coco, plus one food, plus one gold. Let's let's push out to that. Theology is nice. Any, any of these we'd rather go one way or the other. That looks fine. There won't be a war for about 20 turns anyway, so looks uh, fine to me. Yeah, that garden's going to be valuable. It's going to, like, what was there, five cocoa in this one city? Yeah, and four in this city. Soon to be five, well, not, not that soon to be five. Uh, we probably will steal this tile, though, eventually. I can't believe I'm giving away my only great general. This is certainly has to be questionable. The answer might be I'm correct, but it's certainly questionable. In that it should be questioned, but like I said, I think uh, I think it's possible that the answer is that I'm okay. Um, I want to see it. Right, I think we can certainly purchase with fate. I'm short one missionary down here in this case, uh, but you know what? Let's uh, let's spread our religion to these guys while there's while there's a chance to do it. Why can't you go through the canal? Like you have the movement. That's that's bizarre. Is it the boats in your way? No, the boats healing. I don't want to do that. Wow, that is a strange one. He can see the other side, so he should be able to just uh, go in his merry way. Uh, Hmm. Where should this guy be going? Let, let's keep him up here actually to garrison the city. I think we can probably go ahead and lock these in the future. Like they're already the best tiles and are going to get better. Um, now this I'm not so sure about. Yeah, it's, it's crazy to me. Let's get the bit of production and a bit of food, a bit of food anyway. How are you getting on? Plenty of happiness, plenty of like okay tiles. I forgot about this one road that's doing a, a massive job. Uh, with that in mind, should we build road well, down here? No, we need to build lighthouses, wasn't it? It's on the list. Okay, good. We gotta remember we have so much money we can 
we can power things through, especially in our capital. I wish we were getting a bonus for spending the money, but alas, just have to live with it. Yeah, we're about to get so much culture by some of these missionaries spreading up here. Right, let's remind ourselves, actually. Actually, yeah, my Pantheon gets me bonuses to more and more people, or is it only in my own cities? Let's have a closer look at our religion again. Remind ourselves what we're getting. And I forgot that I have a big decision coming up. What um, what social policy I'm going to go for. Right, my religion. My pantheon in own cities. Okay, so the pantheon's only for cities I own. Noted. But I, I have one city I haven't spread my religion to. So that should... So I'm getting mo I'm losing out for not doing that. All right. Uh, this is a one-time bonus, and this is each city gets the bonus. So again, this is only for our own cities as well. Uh, yeah. So I should spread my religion down there when I get a chance. But still, I think uh, it's a good time to spread it to the Ottomans because we're not at war, and we probably will be at war at some stage in the future. Right, how much does he have the movement to let's go here let's wait a turn there see if he can get onto that top okay the boat you are gonna hang on for the settler who's obviously just finished and you're gonna garrison garrison him up there in the meantime though i'm a little worried about these let's get let's get some of these guys out of the water uh, we can get the what Where's the boat? Oh my gods. I I tried to move the boat, but I obviously moved uh, my units. Yeah, so these um, embark units can't just travel through a canal. Like they have to disembark, re-embark. That's crazy. Or in fairness, maybe he doesn't have to. No, he has the movements. He can't get there. That's very interesting. Yeah, I think I want to... Let's stay a little defensive until we know the, the what the Swedes are up to. I might even move him back onto this land or... Down by the Patagon City. Uh, speaking of these cities, I should just double check how much... How much reputation we have with them. Okay, so we're about to lose this city, but we're about to spread a religion to it, so that should be no problem. Um, where that city's not too far off. In the last 20 turns or so, we can pump out emissaries, though. Remember? I can't see this one until, until I have more control over my cruiser. Okay, the Swedes didn't attack, but I am quite concerned about them. Uh, maybe some sort of trade deal with Speaking of trade deal, I'm throwing money away here. No, he has no money, so. Do we still need marble? I do. Okay, Sweden, I just want to make a, a deal with you. I don't really care what it's about and what it's for. It just, it just helps them, like, think good things of me. Give me a no, deal here. Just a, just, a, just a little deal, like, is all I'm asking. There we go. That's how we tricked you into it. Where are you, actually? Oh, yeah, I forgot we know what the world is shaped like because we are on the Earth. So, North America going over into Russia, down into about... The screen won't go any further left for me. Just in case you're wondering why I don't scroll over there. That's annoying. So I'm going to guess that's like maybe Beijing, maybe Japan down here. Like some northern, maybe that's Korea Peninsula I just barely see. So China that would be. Um, which classical starting spot for Sweden obviously. 
Did I know any Swedish people when I lived in China? I feel like maybe? I definitely remember, I played football with some Danish or Norwegians, all the same to me, you know? I, I apologize to my Scandinavian friends. Uh, I know you're not all the same, and if you ever call me the same as an English person, I will be just as offended. Uh, let's get everyone onto land, because I'm a little worried, like I said, about this Swedish situation. And we'll wait until the settler gets here before we expose ourselves anymore. You know what, what? There was a lot of when I was in China. Brazilians. There was just a lot of Brazilians living and working in China. For whatever reason. I don't know. A lot of Germans as well uh, doing engineering projects. Right, so we'll hopefully get him to. Maybe get him to Istanbul in one go. Yeah, especially with that road just above it there. Uh, no, because he can't see. He can't see where he's going. So he's going to have to go around the long way, which has got to get him down to, what, 50% of his initial thing. Next time, we'll send another one up here and pop him into the water, perhaps. Yeah, so I don't think spreading our religion naturally is going to get us any bonuses. Oh, Sweden is discovered for Kiev. Oh, Let's uh let's send some emissaries up there. Ninety two. What would that need? We need two, maybe three. Do I have any bonuses on my emissaries? Oh, perfect. Got here in one go. Yeah. I'm getting some bonuses here. Nice bit of science for that. Fatigan requests a road. <clears throat> that, I was going to say that's impossible, but from this side I could do it, I suppose. It's, it's a lot of money, though, you're asking for. Uh, Sweden discovered for Kiev. Who pays for this road? Like, I pay for this tile, definitely. I think I pay for all tiles. Uh, but after I build it, can I just tear it up? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Yeah. Let's see. We have a missionary about to get down here. Has two followers already. Yeah, I knew I'd spread my religion there. Or maybe that's natural. That two followers. Okay. Heroic epic. Speed it up. What am I waiting on? Am I waiting on anything? Uh, more missionaries to send. I'd like to find a natural wonder. That would give me a quick little boost. Let's leave him stationed there. Okay, so the Swedes seem to have passed without too much trouble. Although, no, they could just be landing down there in my capital. Uh, let's get down here ready to welcome my settler, which might get killed by that horse unit, I suppose. Sorry, let's put these guys asleep rather than... Uh, worker. Oh, I need the iron. What am I doing here? That maybe should have been prioritized a little more. Yeah, a swordsman standing there uh, defending against all, all comers would probably help a lot. I'm really interested in what these Swedes are up to. They have the feeling of looking to attack someone, don't they? Wait, these guys still want cocoa. Did I not just trade it to them? Maybe I failed to trade it to them. I forgot or something. So let's try and trade to them again. No, it's the Swedes I give. Hmm. Well, let's get to the bottom of it by clicking on them. Die and cocoa. Still there. I'm... I was sure I gave him. Maybe it was the Swedes. I gave. oh, he had no money. That was it. So four is the most you can do for me. Yeah, you're barely willing to pay me, but you'll extort me. Uh, but still, I'll sell you one of these too. Coco, I have more of, I suppose. 
and three. I doubt we'll get away with four. Well, let's, let's ask for four. Three. Okay, fine. Tamam. We'll come back to him in a turn or two and see if he has more money. Okay, so we are solidly in your camp. What I really need is a quest from Kiev to help that along. Yeah. Let's get a missionary. Okay, once again, the Swedes have not gone to war with me. Right, so if I have a missionary here, how about... I think I can spread to both of these guys. Like, I think I get a reward for spreading more there. He needs another six. Uh, he's full. He needs another three. Get a bit of money for that. Another one. Another two. Another five. Okay, so the two city-states uh, could be done. Uh, another five. It's actually, certainly Istanbul. Like, if I spread it to Istanbul, the thing is he'll spread it to everyone else. Which is both good and bad for me. I don't get the reward, but my religion is then spread all over the world. Which is um, obviously a positive. Right, let's uh, get an engineer in on this mess. Oh, it's caused me a lot of food. Um, still, I think it's fine. Maybe we will forgo the merchants next turn. Nothing too interesting up there. Pearls from Fagan City. That's nice. A bit of bit more happiness. Speaking of happiness, what are we getting out of this golden age? Again, let's remind ourselves. Every tile your empire produces at least... Every tile that does produce one gold produces one extra. Cities gain 20% production and empire-wide culture increased by 20%. So that's massive across the board pretty much. Uh, what what do I want produced from this city? I definitely want more boats, I think, to help deal with the Ottomans. Um, perhaps another settler to go down south. I think I might squeeze a city in there. Let's finish these ones anyway, and we'll see what we got. I think I'll just fill up on boats, though. And let's... Actually, no, we can stay going on the video a bit. Are we on part six or seven? <laughs> Don't quite remember. Um, three, four, five. I think this is part six, so. How close? So I, I want to go from 30 minutes to one hour in length from part zero up to part 10. So six, we should be about halfway, a little more than halfway. So this video should be what, like 38, 40, sorry, 48 minutes long, maybe? Let's uh, go with that as a theory. Okay, actually, if this is cleared up a bit, let's uh, get some force units heading up the coast with them. Which will free up a nice bit of land here. And uh, we'll keep you defending him. And the catapults can stay down here. Yeah, oh yeah, you had your orders. Uh, so spread. Oh, that's only going to spread two. Two more. That's, that's going to take a while, but I guess I get bonuses for all of this. So that's Greenland, I guess. Uh, you know, I'd like to finish exploring up here just to see what's, what's where and what's when and when's well. Did that make sense? No, no, I don't think it was even English. Okay, the Ottomans have more money. Let's give them um, cocoa. Was it dye? Dye is still left. Spice. Have I got spice to trade? I think I only have one of them. I could sell a city just for this uh, extra spice, I think. I think it's an option. How are we looking down here? We're about to finish those dice. So we've just this one tile to go. And we'll get a monopoly. Because I'm about to steal other stuff. Let that die. Let's spread to our own city first. It's much more important. And it's uh, 
It's more efficient as well. I like just having three guys on the same tile. I, I didn't realize I could do that. So let's uh, let's send them up in a group here. My last series, I it took me ages to find a, a natural wonder. I wonder if that's going to happen again. I wouldn't be surprised if there's more natural wonders in Europe than anywhere else. Now, that'd be more the wonders are more likely to come from Europe because, you know, Westerners made the game. Um, or European descent people probably, but maybe not. But uh, certainly Sid Meier probably is. So t in the general world, there tends to be more like wonders from the classical era of Greece and Rome than there is from China, which would be as valid to have as many. Whereas natural wonders, I guess, are more from the exploration age of Europe. Um, so they might Those not be in Europe good. in itself, if no. that makes any sense. And one evil, My courthouse evil. temple would be nice, and school of philosophy. Yeah, we're just going to go nice and slow up the coast there. I guess, actually, let's leave units behind uh, the ship. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and steal this. It's going to cost us two culture. What? No, that can't. Two culture. Oh, it, the culture is from an improved die. But I thought this still improves it. Yeah, from my last game, I thought we discovered that it still improves it. Am I going to lose out on... Will connect dies uh, in this tile to the Empire's network. So I still get the die. And it's the only way I can get this die. So I don't think I have a choice there. Yeah, I don't. Like, unless they've changed something and I can do it here. Yeah, let's just try it. Because you used to be able to. Because that would be a lovely spot to do it. I'd steal uh, so much more. All right, let's, let's go ahead and do this. We lose one and we gain one. Yeah, we do lose that... Um, culture from this one but we're gaining it from the other one let's see we stick with the scientists we have we'll use the farm thank you very much for that and i think i'd rather production would i although this is a nice tile especially during a golden age when i'm getting the money from it oh, let's see no, I'd rather the production. Supply cap raised by two. Excellent. I lost die. <laughs> so I lost die that they were giving me. But now I've gained die because I get it for myself. But I don't think the die they gave me was being counted towards my Monopoly bonus. But actually, let's check on that. Because, let's see. Neither of these. How many die do I have? I have. One, two, three, four. So if I have five, I'm getting this one. So let's see how many we have. Is this uh, great? So now let's just go with our own. So I have direct control over four, which I need for the Monopoly, so that doesn't count. I think you need to get, uh, I don't know, some sort of... Like a policy or so makes that count towards you. Actually, because I'm thinking of going... Oh, I get to choose this now. I'm thinking of going Statecraft. Actually, let's read through this now because this will be the last bit of the episode. So I'm thinking Statecraft. Although I do have a nice religion going, so I could think uh, fealty. But I feel a lot, some of the bonuses in this add towards defensive. And I don't plan on being defensive. So let's see what adopting it gets. Plus one, because I don't, I don't, haven't really used this before. Plus one every yield in the capital for every fifteen citizens in my empire. Good. That's a that's a nice one for a big empire, and I plan to go big. Plus one gold in every city. I plan to have lots of cities. Uh, each policy gets me an extra gold in the cities, and ten percent influence from tr from trade missions. Ten plus ten percent influence from trade missions. Yeah. Uh, do I get influence from trade missions in general? Maybe I do. 
Okay, um, unlocks building Palace of Westminster. Every World Congress session gain gain culture and science and gold based on the number of delegates you control. Okay, that's interesting. World Wonders require one less unlock policies for every three city-state alliances you maintain. This is when I adopt all of it also. And allows the purchase of great diplomats. Okay, all very interesting. Plus one strategic resource for every three city-state allies you maintain. I do have three, so this I'd get this straight away. Um, great diplomats, 50% faster, and gain 50% rewards from city-state quests. I must check when my great diplomats going to be finished. I always forget about them. 25% yields for trade routes. Gain plus one influence per turn with city-states that you have a trade route with. So that's where the 10% of that probably goes. Okay. That's, that's, a, that's a good one as well. Shadow Networks. Gain additional spies based on the number of city-states in the game. 3% culture in capital for every active spy or diplomat up to 30%. Plus 1 science from specialists, plus 3 science from constabularies and police stations. These are all looking good for me. Not no great or anything. I'm much more excited to get imperialism and start attacking people. Plus one delegate in the World Congress for every eight city-states originally in the world. So that's just, I don't have to control the market. When you complete a trade route to a city-state, receive tourism boost with all known civs. Um, so this looks good for tourism and stuff. But I don't know, it's not blowing me out of war either. Uh, resources from city-states count towards global monopolies. Ah, interesting. Uh, plus one trade routes. And plus one happiness for every active trade route. Uh, tourism modifier. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't seem like a. It doesn't seem to go well with what I have going. Whereas this one also doesn't seem to go that well either. Like this has a bit more warlike stuff in it, but some of the warlike stuff is more defensive. Gold from armies. Hundred percent construction rate of castles and armies. Yeah, I certainly want to produce armies quicker, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. Uh, yeah, culture is nice. I do want culture, pastures, generate. I don't really have pastures. Uh, pressure in all nearby cities uh, without your majority. So that's nice. Um, I'm not going to use many specialists though. Production, city border growth. We love the king day. Uh, What's this? With more text and policies than... Wait, what's this? We looked at King Day. Trade routes with civilizations with more text and policies generate extra science and gold. Oh, I don't know. I just don't... You know, I'm going to go statecraft because I've never done it before. And the fact that I do have three, uh, three city-states already in my control. So what did we gain straight off the bat of that? Um, nothing, nothing when it comes to the city states themselves, but still, that's that's nice enough bonuses in general. Right, let's end the series there on that boring reading note. It didn't go like I wanted that episode with the the war up here. I thought that was going to be a bit more comfortable, but the choke point they had was a little too powerful for me. I think I'm going to need more boats uh, to back me up. How long have I got here? Six turns. Oh, I really need these boats uh, then now. I don't think I have time to build you guys yet. I want uh, an extra an extra set of boats, please. Which will build very fast, at least. I could perhaps buy them. At least one of them or something. Six turns before the war might start. I don't see the war starting straight away. You know what, let me buy that one. Uh, because I want someone up here for the six turns. And he's not going to be back in time. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I, I hit next turn. My bad. <laughs> I will... Yeah, I'll still end the video here. And we'll start at the start of a turn, unlike usual. Until next time, if you'd like to subscribe, there should be a subscribe button on the bottom of the screen around about now. And the playlist for this series called Here to Timbuk 2 should be at the bottom right of the screen. And at the top right of the screen should be the playlist for my previous series. 
feel free to binge watch any or all of that until two o'clock tomorrow i'm out of here i'll see you then have a good one